Hello, it's Andy from q and Insights and in this video we'll be showing you how to analyze and use the cluster visualizations within the tool itself. So at this point it's assumed that you've already uh, used the clustering feature and made your project and you've selected your insights and basically your project's finished. When it has, you'll get an email or you can visit this projects tab here and you can see all your clustering projects down here. Now in this example, I am doing a hypothetical content gap analysis for HubSpot, who you all know masters are masters of uh, content marketing. And as HubSpot, I want to cover every single possible topic to do with keyword research. So in this particular example, I've got 5,001 keywords and my report's been finished, it's been emailed to me or I've visited it in the projects tab. And I can do one of two things. I can click this and download it into Google Drive or Excel and you will see the report in this sort of fashion here. And there's videos on how to interpret this, but largely speaking, all your clusters are in a pre-pivoted pivot table like this. Um, or you can click on view report here and you will view the report natively within our tool Keyword Insights. When you're in the tool, you'll see your clusters in basically two versions. You'll see it as the table or the, these, these clustering cards, we call them. Now the table more closely represents what you would see in your pivot table, you'll see here. You can see uh, I can expand and contract free keyword research and I could do the same here. So this more closely resembles that. Uh, and the card view is one I personally prefer using and it just it's just a bit more user friendly and you can see all your keywords bunched up into these these clustering cards and I can view more rows if I want to here and I can view the keywords in the cluster and I can you know click this and see all the keywords in the cluster and because in when I was setting up this project I selected the rank when I chose my clusters. Uh, I can see the ranking URL for each cluster as well. And I can see the average rank of all the keywords in that cluster. I can see whether it's informational or transactional as a cluster. And I can see the combined search volume. The opportunity here is we, we've taken your rank into consideration. So for these guys, the, their average rank is 26, right? So there's a lot of opportunity here. Whereas for here, the average rank is 1.6. So there's not much opportunity because they already rank really well. And so it's just the odd keyword where they may be not ranking in position one um, where they could do some work. Uh, now what you see here, what you can do here is on each cluster you can add a note. Um, so you can see I've already started to add notes here. I can add a note here, um, note here. And when you save it, it you can see it's a little preview just under each, each thing. You can also add these, we call them like relevancy filters. And it allows you to really quickly go through and tag up your clusters as relevant or not relevant. So if you were coming back to this project later, or if you had multiple projects in your tab here, and you were doing content strategies or content gap analysis for uh, various clients or various subtopics, That's, this is all to do with keyword research. I might have a whole topic here on just um, content marketing and I might have another one on just social media. So each one of these projects is all saved within the tool and you can go in and so you can come back to it, you can mark up which ones are relevant and irrelevant uh, so that you can quickly, as I'll show you in a minute, filter them out. So you can filter out anything which um, doesn't have, uh, just is, is just relevant, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, and basically what, what my goal is here is I've, I've got my 5,000 keywords and I've, I've grouped them into 443 clusters. So there's 443 topics, uh, me as HubSpot's content marketing advisor or um, employee could be targeting. And why this is great is because what my workflow is here is I, I didn't have time to go and do and find out what keywords we'd or what, what articles we'd already created, what keywords we were already ranking. So what I've done is gone and use our keyword discovery module here and just generated 5,000 keywords to do with, um, to do with keyword research. So keyword research is my seed tool, uh, seed keyword, and I've just generated 5,000 other ideas to do with it. And then I've grouped them together 
and pulled through the, the, the ranking URL or the rank for each one. And it was just a really quick way of me spotting where we have content and where we don't. Because as you can see, we already rank in basically position one for this cluster. So I would mark this as not relevant anyway, but we already have content for that. We don't, we maybe don't have content for that. We rank sort of well, but not really. So let's just have a quick look. Free keyword research tool is the, the, the cluster. If I hover over, um, the actual URL that ranks is helpful tools for identifying the right keywords. So I would say that's not specific enough and I should create another article on just free keyword research tools that would be linked to from this one. So I would say looking at that, our benchmarks, if we're not ranking in position, let's say 30 and backwards, we either don't have content for it or uh, our content's not good enough. So what I'm going to do is come back to here and put a filter on for anything where we rank in position 30 and backwards. I also want to filter out any of the clusters that are transactional because this is for my content strategy. So I only want to look at informational clusters, for example. So I'll pop that on. Uh, I can include any keywords or exclude any, I'm not going to. And I can also filter out, as I showed you earlier, anything that I might have tagged up. So I might have already done an exercise or someone before me might have done an exercise where they've gone up and, and tagged clusters as not relevant or relevant or something else. Uh, and then I can toggle on any pieces of content that I haven't created briefs for, which I'll, that'll make more sense in a second. So I can even do that. So roll that up. Uh, and now what we're looking at is a load of clusters that we don't have content for and, and aren't ranking very well for. So local keyword research, this is just local SEO. So the, this, this, this local SEO guide should link to an individual piece of content talking about local keyword research. So that's a really good example of where we can see a whole piece of content HubSpot should create. Um, keyword research templates, keyword research tool, cool. Loads of good ideas here. I'm just going to expand that to see all of them. And my goal now is I just want to create content on it. And if you haven't used our content brief module, I would urge you to watch the videos on how powerful that is. But the idea being here is you can now just click plus on all of these keywords and you'll see them adding up here. And I'm adding these keywords to our content brief module. And I've just done six for now and I'm going to just click, click create briefs and generate report. So very quickly you can see I've, I've, I've done a keyword research, pulled 5,000 keywords, dumped them into our tool, clustered them and then using the filters I very quickly found all of the, uh, I, I filtered for all of the clusters where we don't have any content or the content we've got is really poor. And then I've just very quickly gone through and added them all to our content brief module, which is what's happening now. Uh, whilst that's loading, because it takes a few minutes for each uh, brief to load, I'll, I'll quickly talk you through some of the other features in the, the visual report here, in the internal report. You'll notice when I was clicking these keywords to add to our brief, um, let me just pop that filter on again. Let's just pop that filter on. You'll notice that I was selecting the ones that were green. Uh, that is because the way our briefing module works is we we analyze the SERPs for each keyword that you pop in. So normally how you'd use the content brief is you'd come here and you just add the keyword, keyword research, and we would create a brief looking at the top 20 search results based on that keyword. Now that keyword, as part of a group of keywords, isn't always the best keyword for us to pull data from because the search results might have some transactional things in there or it might have a lot of noise, it might have uh, some affiliate sites that we don't really want to be creating or mirroring our content brief on. Um, so what we've done is used an algorithm that we've created to highlight what we think the best keyword would be for you to use for our, our brief creator. And that's what this one is in green. So you'll notice it's not always the first one. Uh, it's not based on search volume. It's literally based on how the search results look for that keyword and what we think will give you the best result if you're trying to put a brief together. Um, and so you don't have to click that one. You could obviously click a different one. But that's, that's what it is being green. You'll notice these ones now have this mark on. Uh, and that is because I've already created briefs on them. So I can open them. Or I can just filter them out altogether. Uh, display any of the ones that have no briefs and now I've got I can come back to this project and carry on building briefs for ones that I don't have um, don't haven't created briefs for 
And so that's how I'm using this report uh, really quickly to find clusters and then send them to our briefing module. As I've said, you can also view it as a table and you can still add you know, the tags here and you can still add notes here. Uh, and this, this table is basically the same as what you would see in the pivot table here. And then finally, we've also got uh, this hub module here. And again, this mirrors what you would see in this spreadsheet here. So what we've tried to do is group clusters of clusters together so that you can quickly not just identify um, individual pieces, but how you, you can target a whole topic together in one. So for example, under Amazon Keyword Research, there's in theory 21 clusters that we can we can target, 21 pieces of content. Now take that with a pinch of salt. Because we use NLP, uh, it's, it's not it's not completely accurate. This is just designed to speed up your time. So there's not necessarily going to be 21. If I had to hence a get, guess, there's probably 10 good ideas in here. So, uh, and what, what you're seeing here, these are just clusters. So what you're seeing is basically, if I come back here, you'll see we've, we've clustered these clusters together. So you can see in this cluster, there's 484 keywords, but we want to know how does this cluster relate to, is it similar to another cluster in here so that I can target everything to do with free keyword research tools together. That's what we're trying to achieve here. So actually here's one free keyword research tools uh, has 61 in there or Amazon keyword research. If I drop that down, let's have a look. So we'd have one guide on Amazon keyword research and we can unroll that, see, and see all the keywords under it. Uh, we'd probably ignore this one. We'd have another one on Amazon Merchant Words Keyword Research, another one on how to research keyword chains, another one on keyword research to test Amazon. So there's all these different subtopics we can have uh, all related to Amazon Keyword Research. And again, what you would then do is you would close this and you would go back to your, your clustering module here and you would find those clusters and send them straight to your content briefs. As I've said, once you've set it to your content briefs, uh, so here's the, the five or six you made earlier. We've gone ahead and started scraping uh, search results and here's your top 20 results here and we've pulled through all the headings and you can go ahead and start using AI and creating your brief here uh, to do with that that keyword and you can make and that quickly outline it doesn't have to be a content brief you can really quickly outline the best piece of content here get your metadata um, which is still generating that for you now uh, but using this to you know really quickly edit your brief, edit the headings, uh, and make a really good piece of content outline. Um, but there's a whole video on how to use the content brief, so I, I won't go through that on this now. Hope you enjoy using the tool. Let us know if you've got any questions, and yeah, hopefully see you soon.